Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. We're gonna head back to Honey Hive Galaxy and check out some more of Honey Queen's awesome pimpness since she is the ultimate female pimp in this game. Speaking of female pimps, what I like to call the chimps, the chick pimps, um, we are heading to Trouble on the Tower. Just point that out. Um, in like my first video, I said like I was really excited to let's play this game. Um, well, number one, because it's a great game, but also because um, I have never seen any female let's players play this. And several of you pointed out a couple of females, which I do know the names of, um, that have actually played this game before on YouTube. And so I just wanted to commend, give it up for the girl gamers. Ah. Oh. Gotta give love to the girls. I'm just, I'm just in love with this game anyway, so I'm glad to hear that, um, you know, there are other girls out there that are, you know, have the same pimp thoughts. I know. <laughs> but I gotta give it up to the guys, too. There are a lot of guys who have made awesome Let's Plays of this as well. But, you know, I gotta love the, you gotta love the female perspective. Come on, it's what it's about. It's all about the femme de la femme. Because we're the creme de la creme. I know, that was really weird. I don't really understand. Oh, this is so much fun! Look at this! Um. Okay, that's like super slow paced though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Anyway, we're gonna head a different way this time. Now, last time we were here, we had some odd things said about Luigi. Now, this is a level in particular where something kind of happens. We haven't seen Luigi at all in this game, right? Like, not one bit. And then suddenly, the first time he's mentioned is, like, by the toads here. So, that kind of tells you something. Um, and, you know, maybe we'll unlock something later. Just saying. Oh, I feel so bad. Sorry, Wiggler. I love Wiggler. I've always been a Wiggler fan. Like, I think it's just funny that she gets angry. Is it supposed to be a girl? I don't know. I feel like that's another gender-changing character. I always thought of her as a girl, but, like, in Super Mario World, she kind of looks like a guy. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Am I supposed to have a bee suit? I probably am. I'm just, like, not paying attention. I should probably look. Or read this thing. Yep, it's me. That famous Gilboard. If you want to climb this wall, you'd better listen up. When you stick to the wall after a jump, press A to do a wall jump. Use a string of wall jumps to reach really high areas. Okay, well, we've already used that once in this game, so we're just ahead of the game. Okay, never mind. So we don't need a bee suit. I just didn't know if there was something more to this than I was finding out. Which apparently there isn't. So something um, to point out as I'm collecting star bits with my cursor is that if you're playing with second player you can actually like double team and just be awesome and one of you can like legitimately play the game while player two um, just does star bit collecting like just finds every star bit in the game and collects it for you which is super nifty it's just a really cool way to play if you're like willing to just alternate back and forth, which is what me and um, my friends would do a lot when we play this game. We would always just, me and my friends or my sister, we would just, you know, like in not just this game. I, when I say this game, I mean like games in general. Like we would, we'll usually alternate rather than play the two player, because um, two player can be kind of lame sometimes if it's like, oh, you play till you lose, like, and then it's like, well, one person's really good at the game and. Um, which a lot of times was me and like my friend had never played the game before. It was kind of like, oh, well, that's cool for me because then I get to play all the levels, but she doesn't get to play any. So, um, you know, it's just, it's a nice way to play, but I'm just a big fan of the idea that you can team up and start at collective. Someone like, or if somebody doesn't really want to play the game or doesn't know how the game mechanics work, since there is a lot of upside down stuff that happens. Um, you can totally just get them familiar with the game and get them to feel involved by using that mechanic. I thought that was a great mechanic, honestly, because it kind of does that. There are a lot of people I know who, um, while they love the idea of this game, kind of weirded them out a little bit. Um, just the whole thing with, um, 
I don't know, going upside down on some levels, and that is terrifying. Going upside down on some levels and just not being fully upright all the time. So, I don't like these pinch bugs. Pinch bugs, so scary. So it's just worth pointing out. I really like when games try new things to get um, multiplayer involved, which is kind of what Nintendo has done in general when it comes to the gamepad um, for the Wii U. Okay. Uh-oh. So this is a lot different than I expected. <laughs> okay, that ended a lot sooner than I expected too. I didn't really think this was the end of the level, but... Again, it's been a long time since I've played these beginning levels. Which, um, any Let's Play I've seen, it's been like the opposite has been said. Like, oh my god, like, the beginning levels I'm pretty good with. The, the later levels is where I start to get foggy, and like, for me, it's like the opposite. So, anyway. Cool. Alright. You've discovered a new galaxy! Look at that, we're just building up our rep. I'm super excited. Ooh! A hungry Luma has appeared! See? This is why I was Starbit collecting, and he's right there. <laughs> I think it's so cute the way the map shows you the characters. Like, it's just, they're little icons, so we're so adorable. Okay, we're gonna check out the new galaxy, um, and then we're gonna go feed the hungry Luma. I might check it out, I think we're just gonna kind of uncover it and see what the heck it is. Ooh, the flip switch galaxy. Oh, these... Oh, these can be really sucky. But they are a good challenge, I will say that. We can check that out next, actually. I do want to go outside, though, um, to the observatory and just look around, find Hungry Luma. See if anything else is going on that's super awesome. Like that. Oh, no more- what? Hi there, Mario! Maybe we do have more mail. Our buddies in the garage want to tell you something. Okay, we do have more going on out here. We don't have more mail, but we have more going on. Okay, let's see. Um, here's the hungry Luma! Oh, he's so cute! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Got any tasty star bits? I love that he's like, dee -dee -dee -dee. like, his little jingle's so cute every single time. Okay, so he needs 400 star bits, which we happen to have, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of him. Bye, feeding him. Good old number 400. That's it, I'm stuffed, here we go! Transform! Okay, so what these, um, Hungry Blumas do is they turn into brand new galaxies. The sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared, and that is probably the best name of a galaxy ever. So, sweet, sweet galaxy, and then you'll get, um, obviously, a star that will take you to that galaxy. But before we do anything else, I do want to check out um, the garage, see what's going on over here. Oh, wow, progress! We've finished building the star, or, yes, the Star Shroom Starship, that's so cute, I forgot it was called that. The Star Shroom! Uh, we'll use it to search for power stars, and we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave crew. And this brigade needs a bold leader, so I nominate, um, well, me! Under my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. I love his determination, it's just so cute. So I guess this place is some kind of mobile space station controlled by... Oh, he says the same thing. I thought he said different dialogue here, but... Apparently he doesn't, you just get to see him look cute in his glasses. Alright, I, I think it's funny, like glasses- Oh, we finished our starship! Anyway, I love that it's just this big mushroom. What I was saying though, is that glasses used to be like this big like dorky thing people were ashamed of. Now it's like, they're just viewed so differently, which makes me really happy because I've always thought glasses were like so cute. Like people who wear glasses just look cute. I don't know. It just has a cute look to me, but I I don't know. I don't really understand the geekery behind it where people are like, oh my god, no, why glasses? But I guess I'm me, so I don't know. I see the cuteness in a lot of things. We're gonna go to the flip switch galaxy next, as promised. I know, you guys are probably super stoked to check out the sweet sweet galaxy, because I know I am just based on the name alone, but Hey, we gotta do challenges every time. 
Whew. Painting the planet yellow. I don't know how difficult this is particularly, though. Like, I don't remember this being too bad. It's the later ones that are really sucky. So, it just kind of sucks. We have to, like, avoid all this stuff. What's happening? How do I disable you? Okay, I don't, apparently. That's cool. And... I can turn corners this way. Oh, buddy. Why do I have to ride on this thing? This is where the camera can get kind of tricky, though. Like, this is where people are like... Did that seriously just happen? That was the stupidest death ever! Oh my god! Okay, fine. We're gonna do this again. This is so dumb. Oh my god! Okay, this is so pointless right now. Step off and step back on. Ugh. So frustrating. Okay, let me see. Okay, good. I did manage to do that much. Let's not be stupid about this. Let's casually step off. I don't have to go back, but that's okay. I don't mind a little bit of backtracking if it, if it means getting electrocuted. Yes, that is totally what I wanted. Ah! Okay. I need to be, like, way more careful. Like, what am I doing right now? I have to go this way and not die. Because that would just be so dumb. And oh my god, that's what happened. I told you guys this wasn't that challenging. Now I'm having a problem with it. I shouldn't speak so soon. Okay, I'm gonna go this way first, though, because that seems to make more sense to me. Seriously, though, there are just some levels later that are puzzles like this. They are awesome puzzles, but man, they suck. Like, no lie. I always have, like, no choice but to just do that. Oh, well, that, that doesn't, that's kind of, you can kind of cheat right there, I guess. Okay. Oh, God. And you can kind of stun him for a minute. Go down here. Go down here. Let's not do what I did last time. Okay. Cool. And that weird zappy guy becomes the star. Or, not really, but star gets on top of him, and then everything freezes so you can get over to it safely. I would, like, I would be so mad if that didn't freeze. Oh, look at the moral in the background! I love it! Or the morale. I don't know. What's that called? Morale? Moral? I don't think either of those are right, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the old school background. <laughs> but I can't remember the word for right now. Thinking in Animal Crossing terms. For like, you know. Oh my god, I've discovered a new galaxy. Okay, so you'll probably notice on the screen we've got these little crowns on galaxies. That means those galaxies are complete. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of the poor Grand Star. Well, I'm sure they are, unfortunately, dude. Like, that's pretty, pretty high hopes. Just say it. Okay, so let's go unlock this last galaxy, which is this big head. I wonder what it could be. A big Bowser head. This is Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. Anyway, um, so that's going to be our boss of the galaxy. Um, we have completed Flip Switch Galaxy. We've completed Loop de Loop Galaxy. There's still another star to be gotten in Honey Hive Galaxy, and for whatever reason, this isn't crowned. So that tells you there's another star to get here as well, but we need more information for these secret stars later. So, and we'll get that in time, so no worries. Um, but that is the way you know if you've fully completed a galaxy is when you see this crown next to it. So just keep that in mind as you're playing, so you know how to keep track of everything. Um, I don't know how much time we have. 
I want to go ahead and do this um, just because. Because <laughs> I can't remember how much of an actual level this is. So, Mega Legs Moon. I like that name. It's pretty spiffy, to be perfectly honest. We still have Sweet Sweet Galaxy too, but that's kind of a place on its own. So let's see if we can't speed through this and get some stuff done! Okay, so a lot of times you'll encounter weird puzzles like this. Um, like, you know, for example, this star that- what are you doing? Like, stop. This star that's trapped and it's like, oh my god, how do we get it untrapped? Well, maybe if we throw all these things into a black hole, we'll figure it out. So. Sorry, dudes. I don't mean to give you such a, like, weirdly sucky death, but that's kind of the reality of it. Okay. Holy god, that scared me. I was not expecting that. Oh, go away. Bullet Bills, you suck. Oh, I hate you, Bullet Bill. Oh. Ah! Aha! But this is what we do have to do. Okay, never mind. We just kind of made it easier on ourselves by getting rid of these dudes! Stop! Why are you not spinning as fast as I want you to? Ugh, so annoying. I need the Wii Remote to spin faster. Okay, we gotta make Bullet Bill follow us all the way to this other place. Oh, well, I took him to the wrong one. Is he still following me? I don't know if he is. I think he ran into- Oh! He did! Okay, good. I was glad that that just happened. <laughs> I really hoped he didn't, like, get stopped by that one-up that I didn't even get. That was gonna make me really mad. Alright, so here we are. So that's just kind of a little basis to go by for later. If you can't tell, that's just explaining Bullet Bill to you. Wahaha! You made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go at him, Mega Leg. Stomp him with the power of your grand star. Okay, cool. You're awesome, Bowser Jr. Now get out of here. Okay, cool. What is happening? Whoa, look at this big robot. He's so scary. He looks like a big snippet with a big head on top. Okay, so what's our gimmick? First things first, we gotta figure it out. And considering this thing is green and says up, I'm guessing that's our gimmick. No way. Woo! Crash and burn, babes. Crash and burn. Get it? I know. I'm so lame. It happens though. Sometimes you just realize as a Let's Player that you can be really lame. I love this, like, big, like, alarm up here, though. Oh my god, it's raining right garbage! How do I get in there? No idea. Oh my god, I'm, like, totally in here with it right now. Okay, so, more bullet bill action. Well, maybe if we can ever get out. Oh, never mind. I guess we're trapped forever. Wait, how do I get out of this thing, then? I know, maybe I should have thought of that before I, like, climbed into it, right? There we go. I was like, what am I doing? Holy god. Ah! Okay, well that's not what I meant to do. Come on, people! Come follow me, Bullet Bill. Oh, this is gonna be trickier than I wanted to do. Hello? Where'd you go? I'm like waiting for you. I didn't even talk- Oh, for God's sake! Ugh. Oh, so time consuming! Oh, that was so stupid! <laughs> Is this really my life right now? Like, stupid bullet bills cramping my style? Like, come on, this could've been done like forever ago. I kinda need some coins. Or I need to just get the heck out of the way, because I just killed myself. <laughs> okay, well, I was frustrated already. I'm, I just want to, like... Oh, we have to start from the very beginning? 
seriously, dudes? That is just lame, lame, lame. Okay, get out of here. Okay, maybe we can actually accomplish something this time. Sorry guys, don't mean to cause a big hold up. But I guess that's what happens when you decide to spontaneously take on a boss battle. It's all good though, it just leaves more to look forward to next time. Once we've completely demolished these people. Yes, we got your dialogue last time, I don't really know why we have to hear it again. It should just start us out, like, again right here. Like, I don't know why it functions differently than another level. Every time that dumb alarm goes off, I think it's like somebody's car alarm outside. It's not, though. Clearly. Oh, and I just, like, threw a star bit randomly. Did you see that? Okay, cool. Oh my god, Mario's on my ship. What are we gonna do? I love how those two just, like, always crash into each other. Okay, well, I'm glad that I know now that the stupid cage thingy has a time limit to how long you can have it demolished. Got it. <laughs> and there's the cage. We can do this. People. Oh, or we can cause people to kill themselves and not do what they're supposed to do. Okay. Come on, Bull Bill. Follow me. Follow me. What, ha what keeps happening to you? Do you keep, like, destroying yourself? That's stupid. Okay. I was really hoping that would just, like, destroy the thing. Not me! Seriously, this is so frustrating. Like, just do what I want you to do. Okay, well, that was really retarded. <laughs> I love that I was like going around on the belt at the end. Well, I really don't want to start this over from the very beginning again, so I guess we'll just leave off here for next time. So sorry about that, guys, but I really don't want to do this again and then not be able to continue the story any more than that. So we'll take off here next time, but thanks so much for watching. This has been Madam Wario, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs>